Hello again, everybody. Um, I uh, made some small adjustments between episode one and two, uh, simply because when I was doing the playback, I noticed that um, the uh, voice from the microphone wasn't very clear, and I uh, increased the sound of the audio uh, in post, but it ended up coming out a bit scratchy. So uh, what I've done is I've just uh, turned down the game volume. So hopefully that'll make it easier for everyone to hear me. I've also uh, changed some settings. I'm recording in Fraps. So for anyone who knows Fraps, I've changed some of the settings in Fraps because I also noticed that you couldn't read uh, the text on the uh, in the footage. And also you could see the little uh, frame rate thing in the corner. Now I thought that that was automatically hidden uh, in the actual final recording and that you could only see it when you were actually like, when you're recording you can see it, but when you play back the video you can't. Apparently that's not the case. So I've just uh, hidden that so we don't have to worry about it. Um, so now we're actually going to worry about uh, the quest we took on in the first episode, which is this one, Forest and Ruins Lizard Co. So, um, going to go into here. So this time you should be able to see all the text. So this is the level one to three Lizard's Co. I'm going to click that. And um, there are several uh, difficulty settings. There's normal, hard, and very hard. Um, you have to go through all the different um, you're going to have to go through all the different um, difficulties before you can uh, uh, basically do the next one. So we'll start on normal. This will sort out our first quest. Uh, loading. And I'm still using the uh, controller. Just waiting. There we go. This is code. Okay. So. And we've got some level one lizards. Um, and the little orbs are your uh, recover your health and um, mana. So every time you kill something, you basically get healed, which means that, or at least I've found, it is really difficult to die unless you're not constantly killing things. The yellow balls are your experience. You see the, um, the bar at the very bottom of the screen. Um, you see the bar at the very bottom of the screen, which is the experience. I don't know what happened then, I sort of froze up. Um, and uh, you can only move on through these little uh, gates once you've defeated Everything on the screen. Now, if it, it's pretty standard, you know, uh, beat em up rules. I just like this particular game because I really like the uh, art design. Um, and a game is always much easier to play if you can appreciate what you're looking at as well as uh, gameplay. Now you can do crafting in this game. I haven't done much crafting in my on my other characters. I've sort of just been getting into it. But um, I'm going to try and do a little bit more of it using uh, this character when I get enough stuff. Um, depending on your character, I think they wear different uh, grades of armor. So the linen would obviously be some soft armor. Sorry, she keeps dashing because the controller I have is the six-axis one. And so every time you move the controller, she does that dash move, which can be incredibly irritating, so I apologize. Um, this is obviously the boss at the end of the thing. Now, you can either kill all the minions first, but if you just focus on... Yeah, see there? If you just focus on the boss, all the minions will die on their own. You wait for the countdown the end.
And then we get our stage clear. And I leveled up. And my grade is triple S. Uh, which is the highest grade. Don't expect to see triple S often. It's just that these are the very first uh, sets of levels, so they're obviously the easiest ones. Now, at the end of each level, every time you run through the, the dungeon, you get a chance to pick a card. It's usually money, but uh, higher levels you can get uh, items, and uh, if you find bronze, silver, or gold cards while you're doing the level, so like they drop off monsters, they will then give you the opportunity to get a, again, six access problems. And talk to our friend. Now, I can pick up... Technically, I can wear all the different kinds of armor. But, obviously you want the strongest stuff you can possibly wear. So, I'm going to get plate boots. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Enjoyed beating up lizard monsters? I'm so confused. If you don't want to wait around for your sister, just go find her yourself. You're allowed to go out on your own, right? It's not that. Then what are you waiting for? Well, in the past, I used to be scared of everything. Now for some reason, and not even not even these huge monsters can frighten me. Always good. Did you forget how to be afraid? <laughs> no, I fear that I may not be myself anymore. Well, that can't be good. And tell Rosie, and telling Rosie will only make her worry. If you're looking for a shoulder to cry on, you've come to the wrong person. I only dragged you her. I only dragged you her because you were causing such a ruckus in the for forest. You are what you are. Worrying won't change anything. You might as well make the best of it, right? You're right. Voice acting is not my strong suit, obviously. Why are you staring at me? It's your eyes, they're so red. I've never seen anything like it. Oh yes, it's, it's still a shock to me as well. I try not to think about it. I don't know if you're tough or just foolish. Was that a compliment? Whatever. <laughs> this girl isn't very nice. <laughs> you're pretty tough too. The way you just stand here and give me quests. It's amazing. Acting tough will only get you so far. Are you ready to back it up with some action? You bet, don't underestimate me. Um, also get skills. I will get my skill. Yes, I want to learn the skill. Some skills are free, some skills will cost you uh, skill points. Um, just depends on how you want to build your character, really. Uh, complete. Yay. Quest complete. You seem to be very concerned about the forest. Is something wrong? Hmm, how can I explain it to a kid? Let's just say it's because I like the trees. Okay, so I'm now going to go into my inventory, where I have my boots. Right click. Again, when I go to menus, I always use the mouse because it's... Easy. Mouse. Um, and these things I can't use because they're for other characters. Because um, the weapons are decided by what character you pick. So I'm going to go over to this guy here. Because he has the armor store, and then I can sell the stuff I don't want. My potions, other, basically, ed eyeball candy. Um, um, so yeah, these will be the um, things you can pick up and craft with. Any quest items, and then costumes. This game has, uh, you can um, get different outfits uh, for your character. Some of them give buffs. Most of them don't, though. They're just cosmetic. And I mean, you know, that's fine. Okay, so now I have to go to uh, the meadow, which is the second one here. 